Today I'm gonna to show you two great backdoor cut drills to get you open scoring opportunities. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As a premier basketball player development coach, I wanna train you today just like I've trained thousands of youth players all over the world for almost two decades. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you the drill to change directions on a dime for the perfect backdoor cut. Then I'm gonna show you a little known drill design to master the backdoor cut for easy scoring opportunities. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give to you, but only if you stick around to the very end. Okay, let's get right into the drill that's gonna help you learn how to perfect backdoor cuts. First of all, what is a backdoor cut? A backdoor cut is actually when you are overplayed by a defender, okay? I may go off camera for a second, but I'm, I'm getting a chair, okay? I'm gonna show you all so you can hear me. It's when a defender overplays you. So setting this situation up real quick, right? Here's the basketball. Okay, let's say the basketball, maybe at the top of the key right here. The defender is doing what's called denying me the ball. Their inside arm close to the basketball. Thumbs down, palms out. They're denying me. They don't want me to get the basketball. But let's say the defender overruns their closeout denial. So what happens is when I notice that, recognize that, I end up doing a backdoor cut. Right, and I basically cut, it's a rear cut. I cut behind their rear side, which is now their left side. And it's hard to guard to get back to. So setting that up, might be getting off camera again, all good, okay? But setting that up, letting you know where the backdoor cut is. So taking away the basket, to me, is the key. Let's learn these three words. Let's isolate the skill. Don't just work on the cut first. Isolate the skill to the cut first. How do you do that? Take away the basket. We're gonna work on changing speeds and changing directions. Before you change directions, learn to change speeds. And we're gonna take away the basket. And what I'm gonna do is a continuous zigzag drill. All I'm gonna simply do walking through is take two steps to my right, more two count steps. And instead of one, two, more of a two count. One, two. Stop on a dime, push one, two. Stop on a dime, push one, two. Okay, slowing down to show you. Turning around, back to you, one, two. Setting up my cuts, okay? Because we call these hockey steps. Like I gotta skate so my feet, right? I gotta skate here, I'm gonna push off and go the opposite direction. So I wanna change speed and then explode to my change of direction. So now going slightly quicker on my change of speed, a two count. Not necessarily two steps, just a two count. And my outside foot is my push foot. I'm gonna push off and go the other direction, okay? So I go one, two, push off right, push off left, push off right, push off left. Going back, start left, push off, push off, push off, right? Isolating the skill, taking the basket away, notice no ball in my hand. Because the smallest achievement possible is actually to change the speed and change direction. I wanna match that to that back door cut. Now I'm gonna go to the best of my abilities, okay? One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Right, finish now. One, two, one, two, one, two. That right there is the best way to learn how to backdoor cut. Take away the basket, work on continuous zigzag drill, change of speed, and the footwork is hockey steps, like you got skates on. You wanna take your outside foot and push the other way, but mainly, you're learning how to change speed and change direction because that's what you gotta master when you talk about going to backdoor cuts and mastering the score at a high percentage at the basket. I noticed that you're not a subscriber. I develop premier basketball players and roll out 20 high quality videos every month to help you. So click that subscribe button. Okay, now let me show you this little known secret on how to master when to backdoor cut. All this simply is, is what we call the automatic three-point line drill. I'm going back to defender mode. So in this case, if I'm guarding somebody on the right side, the wing area, if their right foot automatically gets on this three-point line and they're denying you, if their inside foot hits that line, that's when you automatically backdoor cut. Why? Let me get my friend called chair again. And let's say this side of the chair is the right side. I want you to pay attention. You can also see this like a body. Think about how high up they are with their inside hand denying that ball. Look at my angle as I come up. This is now a foot fight to the basket. And I love my chances of winning the first two steps 
where that defender can't catch up. And let's say they do catch up. Watch what's gonna happen. This defender catches up. Guess what they leave open? Now they gotta run back out here. If they're too late, it's a shot. If they overrun their closeout, it's an attack. So the automatic three-point line, when you see a defender's inside foot denying you on the right side wing, it'll be their right foot and right arm. On the left side, it'll be their left foot and left arm denying you. When that foot, inside foot hits this line, automatic backdoor cut every time. That's a little rhyme right there. I didn't mean to do that. So here's the drill we're gonna work on. And I want you to be a maverick. Look that word up, be a pioneer. No one's in the gym with me. How can I work on a team concept? Because we're talking about somebody passing me the ball. I don't need anybody. I can toss the ball. I can pretend to cut up, right? Three point line, toss it, lay it on. Lay the ball up. I can use my imagination. Because all of what's important is what I just did in that zigzag drill. I can take two steps up, one, two. I can plant my left foot, my top foot, and push off and go to the bottom for my layup. Come up, hey ball, hey, cut, back door. Lay up, one. Hey ball, 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 back door, cut. Two, last one, reverse left. Hey ball, 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 toss. Hey, catch it, one, two, lay up. Good, change sides. What you do on the right side, learn to do on the left side. This side of the plate is the left foot. And left hand denying the ball. Here it is right here. They're denying the balls. I try to come up to the top of the key. Go back to the cut of the key, right? So coming up now, my right foot is doing the hockey stop. Faking hockey stop. Right back to the cut. Right the ball. Hey, whoa, 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 hockey stop. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We've covered a lot in this video, and I really want to make sure I'm helping you out. So I'd like to offer you a guide that covers all the muscle and basketball principles and in what switch to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips and skills empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below. You can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.